Hello, year one. Welcome to English. Okay. Um, let me open up. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button already. Let me open up our English lesson for today. Um, hopefully that disappears soon so I can click that button. There we go. So today our learning objective is can I use new vocabulary? Your turn. Fantastic. And for this lesson, you'll need um, a piece of paper and a pencil, okay? Because we will be writing some new vocabulary, okay? And there are two options for your work for this lesson. Either you can write the new word that I show you. So here's my example. Um, I've, I've used my example as icy. That's my new word. And what you do is write the word and then draw a picture to show what that word means. So that's the first option of what you can do in this lesson. The second option is the challenge. And if you would like to do the challenge, it is to put the new word in a sentence. So we're going to go through a number of new words and I would like you to either write it down and draw a picture to show what that word means, or I would like you to write the word and put it in a sentence, okay? So let's, let's see what the first word is. Oh, well, the first word is first. First. Fantastic. And first is the first thing that happens, isn't it? That's what it means. And when, when we're writing our story map, um, or when we're doing our story map, sorry, our action is first, isn't it? Can you see me? First. Your turn. Good. Okay. Our next word is next. Next. Fantastic. So what does next mean? Yeah, it means the next thing. So it's when something happens after something else. OK. Sorry, on each one of these pages, you need to pause me and either write a sentence with this word in or write the word and draw the picture. OK. So next, make sure you've written the word and draw a picture or put it in a sentence. Okay, the next word, my turn is finally. Finally. Good, when we're doing our story map, finally is like this, isn't it? Finally, your turn. Good. Okay. And that's the last thing that happens usually, isn't it? So yesterday when you were writing your instructions, you could have said, finally, eat your sandwich. Couldn't you? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, the next word is trap. Trap. Fantastic. Can you see the picture of my trap here? Trap is something that can be set up to catch an animal or to catch something, can't it? So here there's a trap ready to catch this rabbit. Okay, either pause me and write the word trap and draw a picture or write the word trap in a sentence. Okay, our next word is a long one and it's instructions. Instructions. Fantastic. What are instructions? Hmm, well instructions are a list of things that need to be done. So for your for your lesson yesterday, you wrote instructions on how to make a sandwich, didn't you? Good, instructions. Pause me now and either do the picture and the word or the sentence. Okay, our next word, my turn, carefully, your turn, carefully. Fantastic. And carefully means 
when you do something very gently, like here in this picture, this man is carefully taking a brick out of the Jenga game, isn't he? He's being very careful so as to not knock it over. Carefully. Pause me. Well done. Our next word is scatter. Scatter. Good. And when something is scattered, it is kind of thrown like that, isn't it? And and so here in this picture, um, these seeds are being scattered all over the floor. Yeah. So we could do an action like this. Scatter. Scatter. OK. Pause me and either put scatter in a sentence or draw a picture. Our next word, or oh, we all know what this one means, quietly. Your turn, quietly. Fantastic. When you're quiet, it means you're not making a lot of noise, is it? Um, isn't it? So the boy quietly crept down the stairs would be a good sentence. He quietly did it. Pause me and write this new word. Oh, our next word's a fancy one. It's cautiously. Cautiously. Now, when you are cautious, you do something very carefully. So can you see in this picture, the girl is cautiously stepping on the stepping stones. So she is really carefully stepping on the stepping stones to make sure she doesn't fall in the water. Cautiously. Good. Okay, pause me, write the word and either draw the picture or write the sentence. Resist, your turn. Resist. Good. When you resist something, you really try not to do it. So it was hard to resist the big chocolate bar on on my kitchen side yesterday. <laughs> so it was really hard for Miss Walker to resist the chocolate. That's, that was that would be how you would use the word resist because you it's when something's really tempting and you really want it, but you try not to eat it or you try not to do it if it's something that you're doing. Pause me and write the word resist. Oh, and that was the last one. Fantastic. So make sure for every single one of those words, you either have written the word and have drawn a picture to show what it means, or you have put the word in a sentence, okay? Um, post those things on tapestry. I can't wait to see them. And I will see you soon for another lesson. Okay, bye Dyson. <laughs>